uh, it's a wrap uh, for data imputation and uh, now let's look into the few more methods of handling missing data we have seen a data imputation similarly we will these are the main data imputation techniques that we have seen so far but we have few more a uh, few more methods uh, which we can use uh, uh, use uh, to handle missing data okay these are very simple uh, uh, simple simple uh, methods uh, to handle missing data the first one out of which is list wise deletion or complete case analysis so list wise deletion or complete case analysis is a method of handling missing data by simply by simply simply dropping the rows that contain any missing values from the data set in other words any row that contains at least one nan or not a number or missing value is removed from the data set the complete row itself is removed from the data set so this is how it looks this is our data set and this consists of fourth row Uh, an n a not available value in fourth row seventh row and ninth row and then after the applying um, method after applying this method you will have a data set with with those respective rows removed and fourth row has been removed seventh row has been removed and ninth row has been removed okay so that's how uh, it works and uh, you can clearly see the fourth row has been uh, removed nothing else and then seventh row also not there ninth row is also not there this is what we call as list wise deletion or complete case analysis method to handle the missing values now let's take a simple well a uh, simple example here so this one we will call it as list wise deletion list wise deletion method to handle missing values so let's take uh, a no quick data set which is let me scroll up and pin and we find out yeah this data set uh, now i'll check another one that we have used uh, before any data set that works but still i just want to have a specific one okay we'll just directly do with the a real world data set okay so let me take a uh, cust i do not have this one is equal to let me go for the units data units yep this is what the units data and here you have this nan here you see that this nan and this nan i want to remove this let's see let's apply this uh list wise deletion method to this and let's see what's going to happen so display the original data set let me write down that display the original data set so print original data set so print its units yep this is what is our original data set now let's uh, drop rows with missing values using list wise deletion so df so units underscore drop and a is equal to units dot drop and a and execute it and now it's time to display the data set after list wise deletion display the data set after list wise deletion so print data set after list wise 
deletion let me put it in and uh, print sorry units drop and yeah. and here is your result and this is the original data set 24 25 26 7 and this is the data set after the list wise deletion 24 25 26 27 gone completely and this method is known as a list wise uh, data list wise deletion method so in the in this example so we have used drop an a function from pandas to drop the rows with missing values resulting in new data set uh, that is units underscore drop and a without any rows containing missing values so it's important to note that list wise deletion can result in loss of data and entire as entire rows with any missing values are removed from the data set so this method may not always be suitable especially if the data set has a large number of missing values or if the missing values are not randomly distributed so it's important to carefully consider the implications of list wise deletion before using it as a data imputation method